channel. Hope you have a wonderful day. Today's episode is going to be based on how to cut six pieces wrap skirt. I know many people might have been wondering on how to cut this particular style I'm talking about, but I'm here to cut it out for you. So let's go to the cutting section. Welcome to the cutting section. I'm using this lace fabric to cut out the six pieces wrap skirt. But since it's a wrap skirt, it's going to be nine pieces, not six. But it's it is when you wrap it on the body that it's going to come out like six pieces. Now, I'm going to fold it into two parts because I'm cutting. I'm starting with the cutting of the center. So in this aspect of pieces, the center I'm cutting out now is going to be into three places so as long as the normal pieces skirt six pieces skirt um, i only need that is going to stay at the center of the back and the one that is going to stay at the center of the front but since it is wrap skirt and i told you it's going the pieces is going to be in nine places so now the center is going to be three and the side the one that is going to be at the sides is going to be six so three plus six give us nine pieces so it is after when you wrap it on your body that is going to give us six pieces skirt. This is five yards of lace fabric. Let's assume I'm going to use four yards out of it because I'm going to nine pieces. So let's start with the front, the center cutting. Now I'll be cutting the three centers one after the other. So I'm starting with the first one, folding this into two. As I'm folding this into two, the wideness is 10 inches. So the next thing I'm going to tell you now is the length of the skirt, the waist, the hip, and the, the waist here to the knee length before you do the flay. I'll be thinking that since it's a, it's a rough skirt, is it going to be normal waist? Yes, the measurement is still going to be normal waist because it's into nine pieces so the allowance for the wrapping is already there so the next thing i'm going to do now is to take the measurement of the waist the weight measurement of my waist here i'm using i'm using waist 32 inches i'm going to start with the length first so the length here is 42 inches so i'm starting from here to 42 inches so the sewing allowance I'm making it 43 inches, so here is it. And 3 inches. So from here now, you have to determine the eight point. The eight point here, I'm using 9. This is 9 for the eight point. So from the waist to the, the knee length, I'm using 16 inches. So here is it. From this 16 inches, I'm slanting it. The hip point, the knee length here. Yeah. So the hip point here, yeah, the my hip is 40 inches. But all the measurements now. I didn't need the measurement here. So I was in three and a half inches. How to determine this three and a half inches? It depends on the distance of the two bust. It's the same thing as the that measurement. That is where you can get this measurement um taken out. So to this particular area. Yeah, like this. See, then I'm slotting it down. So 
from this night. So now the next thing to do now, like I said earlier, I said I this is going to be in three places. So this is the first one. I'm going to cut out the remaining ones. So now after folding this into two to cut out the second one. Then you just place this on it, the first one you put. Put it on it in this way. Then you cut it out. Second one, you're going to do the same thing for the third one as well. So now this is the third one. You can see the one, one, two, three. These are the three pieces that are going to stay at the middle. So the wideness for this particular area, I said it's earlier, it's going to be 10 inches. You can see. So this is 10 inches into three. This part is going to stay at the sides. So we have six sides for this type of we have to get. So now this is the area we need the measurement, the hip measurement and the waist measurement. So you're taking one of the center like this one, you're taking one of the center out. We need to place it on this like this. You are facing it. This, not like this. They're not doing it this way. They're doing it this way first. So now, before you cut it out, you have to check the measurement. You have to determine the hip first. Maybe the wideness is going to be okay for the hip before you cut it out. That's it. This is my hip point. So you have to check first before cutting it out. This is nine. The hip point. So for the hip point here. You have to take the measurement. Showing is it okay? Because the if the wideness of the if here is 40 inches, so with the allowance is okay. So after pressing it this way, the next thing you're going to do is to cut it out. To that, you are going to face it this way. That's it. So, the next thing I am going to do now is to check the measurement. So, the measurement for the waist here is 32. So, this is 8 into 4 equals 32. So with the same allowance of two and a half inches because of the joining. So from here now you're going to determine the hip point. The hip point here I'm using nine inches for the hip point. So after that, I'm going to take the measurement. The hip measurement here is 40. So with the same allowance of two and a half inches. The next thing I'm taking now is the knee length. Knee length I'm using 16. So now I'm going to join the sketch this way. Then you're going to slant down a little bit to this particular area. You can see. I can also take the measurement. This is 10 inches. So, with the same allowance of 
so into because it won't be the same thing as the egg but as the wideness of the egg so the wideness is not going to be the same thing as the egg wideness so after then when you get to this point now the nice thing to do is to slant it down So the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut it out. When I finish cutting it, I will see its shape in the world. To the eight point F, to the nail, to the full length. So this is it. That's it. That's it. One that is going to stay at the center. So, like I said earlier, I said we need six of this. So this is two. Cut two together. So it will be four. I'm going to cut out the second two. So after putting this into two, like the first one I did, so I'm placing this on it cut out the two at once again so this is how you got to do from the third one as well as cut out the last two now it's into six and cut it three times so now after putting it this way I'm going to cut it out I'm cutting it out This is the second part. So this is the last two. This is the, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. This is the six that is going to stay at the sides. Keeping this aside. So this is the third stage. 
So this will make a six pieces love skirt.